Hey guys, my name is Ajay Adebayo, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about deceptive site ahead, right? A lot of people have this on their domain, they just host their website, and they have this deceptive um, site ahead. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can remove your website from showing deceptive website ahead, right? I'm also going to discuss with you reasons why your website show deceptive site ahead right so pay attention carefully to this video and you'll be glad you did now there are certain reasons why your website will show deceptive site ahead if your website is showing deceptive site ahead just know that it is not your hosting who has suspended your domain it is not your domain or hosting company. It is not the kind of script you are using that is making your site to show deceptive site ahead. Number one reason why your site shows deceptive site ahead is if your website is used for scam purpose. If your website is used for scam purpose, your site risks showing deceptive site ahead. If your website is used for phishing, it risks to show deceptive site ahead. If your website is used for collecting um, private information from people illegally, it also risks to show deceptive site ahead, right? Uh, before now, it was not rampant, but I think um, this period, it was so rampant that any site, you know, that is used for deceptive purpose, Google, you know, flag such website, right? So I'm going to show you how you can remove this you can actually remove this deceptive site ahead from your site right i'm going to show you how you can remove this and how you can avoid this now number one reason why you get this and how you can avoid this is avoid using google chrome right avoid using google chrome if you uh, designing a website and the site is it um, used for phishing or any of those purposes? It risks Google, you know, seeing that site as a deceptive site. Most of the time, when you are using the latest version of Google Chrome, now Google Chrome has been built with a lot of security to detect websites that are used to illegally collect people's information. So, if you avoid Google Chrome, you might um you might be able to stop this to some percentage number one right number two avoid using domain names that looks like another company domain right so some people design website and when they design this website they you know they they, they try to to imitate another kind of an existing domain they try to imitate they try to use a particular existing domain they try to use a brand that is popular and try to um tweak their domain to look so closely to that brand right and there are some of these brands they have some kind of security features on the, on on the on the web they have some kind of security companies that they have paid to always monitor their domain so they get a signal by the time any any time someone try to imitate their domain or use something very close to their domain. That's why you do not need to re actually if you want to use something uh, close to any company's domain, you should do it. You know, you should do it uh, in a way that it does not really look as if you are trying to imitate that company. So avoid using. Uh, other people's domain or trying to imitate other people's domain so closely if you do that you might likely get deceptive sites ahead right so those are some of the ways that you can those are some of the ways that you can actually avoid this now what about if you eventually get this how do you stop this right so i'm going to show you how you can get google to remove this from your domain i've done it many times um over and over again i'm going to show you how i get it done so the first thing you need to do is what well, you just go to google.com slash webmaster right so you go to google.com slash webmaster 
right? Then um, you click on get started. All right, so you just make sure that your 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 email is logged in, right? This particular email, this particular email is logged in right here, right? It's logged in. So all you need to do is just go to search console. So when you go to search console, sometimes when you go to search console, if you are doing this for the very first time, you may not see this screen, right? You may not see this screen. You're going to see something like this. Let me go here and say add property. Yes, this is what you are going to see if you are doing it for the first time, right? If you are doing this for the first time, this is what you are going to see. So, but if you are doing it, uh, maybe you have done it for one particular domain, you want to do it to another domain. So you just go to um, click here, then you say add property, right? So this is a, um, a property for this particular um, uh, website domain. So I'll just go, I'm just gonna copy that link, right? And then uh, I'm just gonna put that link right here. Can you see that? Then I'll click on continue. So I'm gonna click on continue. Awesome, can you see that? So Google is going to show you this option that you should download it, you know. So you say download this to your um, link. So this is the link. Right, this is the link to where I am having that. Um, so I'm just going to download that. So I'm going to download that, then I will head on to my C panel. All right, here's my domain. Right, so here's my domain. Uh, my C panel, where I have that. So I'll just look for five. Right, so I'll click on five manager. So I'll go to the public underscore HTML, right? So this is where I have that. I have that right here inside this particular folder. So I'm just gonna open this folder up right here. I'm gonna open that folder up right there. So I'm gonna upload that file I downloaded from Google. I'm gonna click on this file <coughs> and download it. I have it here. So I'm gonna upload it right here. So that is the folder or the domain where I have that. So I'm just going to um, <coughs> reload that, right? So that has been um, uploaded here. So I'm now click verify. Awesome, awesome. So you can see verification method, right? So I will now click um, go to properties. So I will now go to that properties. If you drag me to that property, so this is the properties here. Look at the URL here, right? So just make sure you are in that particular uh, property right so i am in that particular property let me just make sure i am in that particular property so this is the property i'm in that particular property right so immediately you upload that i'm going to see something like security issues one issue detected you click on full report you see that you click on full report, so you are going to see one issue detected. Deceptive pages I have, right? So you're going to see Google is going to tell you this. So you click um, um, request review, right? So you click all issues have been resolved, and you come here and just write um, my website is used for practical purpose and safe not used for any other purpose please allow to run smoothly so some people will see go and type exactly what i type right so you go and type exactly what i type and google will see that everybody is typing the same thing problem for yourself so you have to just type something just like tell, telling them that uh, the website is not for scam purpose the website is not for fraudulent purpose so um just tell them that and then you click on submit request right so you see that request successfully submitted right request successfully submitted so when you do that it usually take them between 24 hours to uh, seven days for them to lift up the bound right so you just wait between 24 hours to seven days they will lift up the bar and they are going to remove that deceptive uh, site ahead 
from your website. So this is how you can actually remove deceptive website ahead from your website. And don't forget, right, that you need to um, just make sure you write something on the box telling them that this site is safe for users to actually use. So if you do that, you just have to wait for them and they are going to automatically, I think their robot is going to automatically detect, detect that you have submitted um, a complaint on that and they will lift the site. Now, this does not mean that you may not get that again, right? It's a nominal I've seen situations situation whereby you do that, they lift the site and after some time, you get out again, right? So, but the best way to always make sure that you don't get out again by the time they lift the site, you just try to avoid using Google Chrome. So thank you guys very much for listening to me and I hope this, you know, helps this video helps you a lot and if you have this kind of issues to resolve in your domain. God bless you.